Hi, my name is Scott Silcox, uh, and this video is intended for anybody out there who's interested in becoming a licensee of the NFL or Major League Baseball, NBA, NHL, NASCAR, NCAA. Um, it's intended for you, this uh, video. And I, I've really got kind of two messages that I'm trying to get across in this video. The first is that I've created a 12-part blog um, all about the process of becoming a, a licensee of the sports leagues and, and producing products um, that would be that would be licensed by the NFL or Major League Baseball or, or NHL, etc. Um, and secondly, I am available as a consultant, and I'll explain in just a moment uh, my background. But uh, so the really two messages are: I've created a blog that has an awful lot of information about becoming a licensee, and I'm available as a consultant. Um, now, let me give you a little bit of background, and, and then the last part of this video, I've got two, what I believe to be really you know, good takeaways for, for people who are truly interested in becoming licensees of a sports league. Um, so, my name is Scott Silcox, I live in Toronto, um, and I owned a company called Maple Leaf Productions. Beginning in 1997, and for the next dozen years, we were a licensee of the NFL, Major League Baseball, NHL, CFL, and through an associated company, U.S. Colleges. Um, uh, we were licensed by those various leagues to produce a whole variety of products, and I'd love to just show these to you just very quickly. I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, but just trying to establish a little bit of credibility that, that you know, we were a licensee, and, and you know, so we have some sense of what we're talking about. Um, so we produced a, a whole variety of products called plaque posters. Um, you know, that, that trace the evolution of team uniforms. Uh, these are a couple of baseball posters, uh, an NHL poster, an NFL poster. So um, we produced plaque posters was, was one product that we produced. Then in addition to plaque posters, we also um, did framed posters, this uh, Cincinnati Reds um, the product or um, a Green Bay Packers product. Um, and as well, just to show you very really briefly, um, an NCAA um, framed poster as well. Um, we also produced a, you know, a whole variety of other products that, that use those same uniform images. We did coffee mugs, we did playing cards, you know, Ace, King, Queen, Jack, Ten playing cards, we did fridge magnets, we did clocks, and oh, a whole variety of products. Um, you know, working with the various leagues. At any rate, I'm not trying to pat ourselves on the back, I just want to give you a sense of the, the products that we produced. Um, so, my point really is that I do have first-hand experience with working as a licensee of the NFL, Major League Baseball, NHL, CFL, and U.S. Colleges. I don't have first-hand experience with the NBA or NASCAR or PGA Tour or WWE or UFC, but a lot of the lessons and, and knowledge that I have is applicable from one league to the to another. But just so we're clear, I don't have first-hand experience with some leagues, but I, I do with, with a number of other leagues. As I mentioned, I've written a 12-part blog all about the world of licensed sports products, and it's called An Insider's Guide to the World of Licensed Sports Products in 12 Parts. Practical Lessons from the Trenches. Um, it can be found at this URL right here, um, and I, I suggest if this is an area that you are interested in, this series of blogs, it's 12 blogs, it's probably 50 or 70 pages of information, um, you know, is available you know, free for the visiting of our, our blog website, so you know, please feel free to, to visit. Now, some people would say, well, Scott, I mean, why would you take all that time to, to share all of that information? Really, three reasons. Um, I try and live life as straightforwardly as I can, and, and so let me try and share the, the reasons. The first reason I'm sharing information is it's as a service to people who are interested in obtaining a sports license. Um, because I know from firsthand experience, had I known prior to becoming a licensee, some of the information that's contained in those blogs it would have saved me a lot of money and would have made me a lot of money. Um, so I'm trying to share information kind of from one entrepreneur to other entrepreneurs. The second reason I'm sharing this information is there may be a handful of you listening to this video or, or reading the blog um, who you know, like what I say, you know, like my approach to things, and might be interested in hiring me as a consultant. I'm, I'm not looking to kind of be a consultant to, you know, dozens and dozens of companies, but but a small handful of companies I'd be delighted to work with. 
I've got a lot of experience. I get along well with people. I got along very well with the, the leagues, the NFL and Major League Baseball and NHL and et cetera. Um, and so, at any rate, I'd be delighted to work with um, you know the right person or the right company as a, on a consulting basis. And, and the third reason I'm sharing this information is, you know, truly as a service to the leagues. And I know that might sound kind of strange, but the leagues, you know, they became my friends. Or you, know, you, know, you good, honorable people. They are so busy and they are so inundated by people who have ideas for licensed sports products and usually these are entrepreneurs who are kind of doggedly determined and they're trying to, to speak to somebody at the NFL or Major League Baseball or NHL and those people are so busy they just don't have time to, to spend with the entrepreneur. I'm trying to, to kind of do a service for the, the leagues by giving you, the people interested in getting a license, some you know, additional information so that you are just that much smarter about what it takes to become a licensee. So those are really the reasons that I'm, I'm sharing this information and why I created the blog. Um, now, as I said earlier, there's really two major takeaways that I've got from this video. The first takeaway is really aimed at the true entrepreneurs who are interested in getting a license. Typically these are kind of a, you know one person or a couple guys who you know men or women or, but you know one or two people who have a burning idea for a licensed sports products and they just you know it's kind of a new product and, and a hot product and they say my god this would be a great seller if I could just get a license from the NFL or Major League Baseball or NHL or NBA you know how do I do it? Um, I, I'm gonna sound like a know-it-all I don't mean to be a know-it-all, I'm just, again, I'm just trying to be a nice guy, but basically you stand almost no chance of getting a license from the NFL or Major League Baseball or NHL. Um, and, and it's not because your idea isn't good, it's not because you aren't a great person, it's because the leagues are at a stage in, in their you know, development that they're really looking for a company not an individual. They're looking for an existing company, a company that's been around for three years, five years, ten years, a company that's got 20, 30, 50, 100 employees, you know, a company who's been making and selling products to retailers um, you know, for a number of years, have a, you know, they understand the retail business, have existing customers, have existing relationships with distributors, etc. That's who the leagues are looking to, to license. And, you know, and here you come along as an entrepreneur with a great idea, but you, know, you don't have a sales force, you don't have a distribution system in place, you don't have relationships with retailers, and, and I, I don't mean to be mean, but the leagues just are not interested in you. Now, I'm sure if you're an entrepreneur, you're like, I'm an entrepreneur, you hear those words coming my, out of my mouth and you say, ah, oh, you know, forget him, he doesn't know what he's talking about. I just Listen to me for just a moment, if you would. You, you've got a great idea. You want to see it come to market. Um, and there is a way, I really believe. Um, and, and it's kind of one, of two, one or two things. The first piece of advice that I would have for you is concentrate on the NCAA. And I could go in this a lot more detail you know, with you live over the telephone or you know, meeting face to face uh, you know, if you wanted. But basically, the per first piece of advice to you, this entrepreneur with an idea, would be focus on the NCAA and or find an existing licensee, somebody who already has a license with the NFL or, or Major League Baseball or NBA, um, who you could work with um, and um, you know, to see your product come to market. It's not you getting a license, that's, that's not the case, but it is a way for you to begin. Um, I know a lot of the, the, my fellow licensees from those leagues. I can steer you towards the good ones, people that might be willing to listen and talk and, and work with you. So, if you're the, the, you know, the entrepreneur with a burning idea, I'm suggesting to you concentrate on the NCAA or work with an existing licensee. In either case, um, I am available as a consultant. If you think I might be able to help you in that, I could explain this in a lot more depth. Now, my second takeaway is aimed not at the kind of the one or two person entrepreneurial shop, but this is aimed at you know, somebody in kind of senior management of a, of a company that's been around for a while, a company that's been around for three years, five years, ten years or more, a company with 20 or 50 or 100 employees, a company who you know, makes existing products selling to existing retailers, and you're looking now for, you know, to consider a licensed product, um, you know, a kind of a product line extension for your, your existing product lines, or maybe it's a, a new product line that, that you'd like to have. But 
the point being that you're somebody from an established company with a, a proven track record of, of you know sustainability. In this case, I really think I can help you become a licensee of the of whichever league you're interested in. It's a tough slog and, and it's not easy and there are very few companies that, that, that you know, are awarded licenses you know, each year. The new companies awarded a license each year. But if you fit that profile and, and you have a, a, what you believe to be a good product idea, I truly think I can help you become a licensee. You don't have to work with me as a consultant by any means. At least read my blog and, and, and learn as much as you can before you, you go down the road of applying for a license. So, and that's really kind of my final point. Whether you're the, that you know, kind of single entrepreneur with a burning idea or an existing company with an idea for a licensed sports product, I am available as a consultant if you'd like to work with me. And please visit my blog. I, I've got a lot of information about licensed sports products. I don't think anywhere on the internet there's anywhere close to this amount of information about becoming a licensee because this is certainly a very narrow niche. Um, and, and who else would be crazy enough to, to write 50 or 70 pages of information about becoming a licensee? At any rate, you're great to have put up with me on this video. Thanks very much for your time, and I wish you all the best. And feel free, if you wanted to speak to me, it certainly doesn't cost you anything or me anything to speak to each other. My cell number is 416-315-4736, and Scott Silcox. It would be great to talk to you. Thanks very much. Bye.